What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I want to talk about widgets today for iOS 8. And in particular, I have picked out five different widgets that I really enjoy. And here they are. You have iMonitor, Evernote, Paste Plus, Sports Center, and PCalc Lite. Now, let's talk about the first widget that I selected here, iMonitor. And what this widget allows you to do is to monitor the system status of your device. So you see right at the top, you have the memory used. I have 97% memory usage now, and it's kind of fluctuating. You have your free memory. So I have 16, gig or 16 megabytes out of one gigabyte of memory free, and that fluctuates a little bit. And then you have free storage. I have 31 gigs of free storage space out of 64 gigs. Then you have your bandwidth. So you have your upload bandwidth and you have your download bandwidth. And apparently there is an upload going on. Perhaps iCloud Photo Library is updating or something like that. Who knows what's happening? You don't get really in the uh, visibility on a process uh, level, but it does just tell you the overall bandwidth uh, of your device, which is nice because you, at least you get some visibility as to what's going on. For instance, a lot of times uh, downloads and things will just be hanging hanging up on me and I kind of wonder like what's going on is anything even happening right now there's no visibility well I monitor provides you with quick and easy access to the bandwidth um, right from a swipe of the notification center so this is an extremely handy little tool you also have your CPU monitor there. That is not as uh, practical because whenever you invoke notification center for instance say you're playing a game and you want to see how much CPU the game is using well when you swipe down a notification center, the game pauses. So it halts any CPU usage from that game immediately. So you don't really get a true understanding of how much uh, how much the game is pressing your system uh, or really uh, taxing your system. So that's not as useful, but it's still nice to have that in case there's any background processing going on. Or even if you just swipe around like this in a notification center, you can see the CPU spike up a little bit, uh, but you don't really get much information from that. So that is iMonitor. My next widget is Evernote. And this is, if you know me, you know, you know, guys, that I love Evernote. It is a great productivity tool. And now it's even more handy because now you can create a note directly from a notification center. You can invoke a text note, a camera note, a photo note, a reminder note, or a list note directly from notification center, which is awesome. Because how many times have you, if you're an Evernote user, you've no doubt experienced this. You want to take a quick note, but you can't find your Evernote app. It's in a folder somewhere or uh, you're in a another app and you need to quickly get to your home screen and then go over to Evernote and then open up a new note and then choose what type of note you want to create. Well, this eliminates all that. You can create a new note and choose a type of note, more importantly, directly from Notification Center. So say I wanted to create a new text note. I just tap the text button just like that, opens up, opens up uh, Evernote and bam, you're ready to start typing. Or say I wanted to create a new list note, tap it, bam, list is ready, ready to go, ready to start creating your list just like that. Extremely handy tool. If you're an Evernote user, it's a no brainer. You want to use that widget. Now the next widget that I really like is called Paste Plus. And this is a unique little widget here. Um, what this allows you to do is to get more uh, from your pasteboard basically. So whenever you copy text or you copy an image or copy a link, you can do some really cool things with Paste Plus, which is right here. So you can see it shows you what's currently on your pasteboard or your clipboard if you're a Windows user. You can see I have some rich text copied there. Steve Dowling is what I have copied. And if I hit the little down arrow on the right side, you can see I can perform some actions with this text, Steve Dowling. So if I wanna create a new Evernote note, with the word Steve Dowling in it, I could do that just by tapping Evernote, and it's one action. So I can just tap on Evernote, it's creating the new note, and bam, it's done. Now I can just open up Evernote, and you see that first link there, tap that, and there you go, Steve Dowling, just like that. So it makes it easy to create notes from your pasteboard, and that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Paste Plus. You can also use images, uh, you can use Translate, you can send or uh, compose an email, or uh, do, a, do a Google search directly from Notification Center. So I'm just gonna tap Google search, and it searches for whatever was in my pasteboard, like that Steve Dowling, Apple's new PR boss. So that is extremely cool. Alrighty, so let's check out the next widget. It goes without saying that I'm gonna have Sports Center here. This is pretty self-explanatory. It tells me what upcoming games are going on, if any games are in progress, and I can actually tap on a game 
and that will take me to the Sports Center app, and it will give me some information about that particular game. Pretty standard, but it is nice to have sports scores right there in Notification Center. Now, lastly, I have PCALC Lite which is a really, really cool calculator app. This is the light version, it is not the paid version, but if you are a calculator user, if you use calculator all the time, the paid version is certainly worth it. But for this demonstration, I wanted to show you PCALC in the notification center. Even the light version though has the widget. It's not like you have to pay for the full version if you just want a, a nice calculator widget, and that's what this allows you to do. All right, so let's perform a quick calculation. I'm gonna buy something for $500 on 7% tax, so 500 times 1.07, $535. Okay, so um, it's a really nice calculator widget. You can also copy data directly from the output. So if I wanna copy 535, just tap the copy button. I can even hide the calculator right from Notification Center by hitting the little disclosure triangle on the left side like this. And still see the, uh, the numerical output there just like that. And you can open up PCALC directly and perform additional functionality, etc. So this has been a demonstration of five great notification center widgets for iOS 8. I hope you enjoyed this list. If you have anything to add, please leave your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. And if this video helped you find a new notification widget that you didn't know existed or that you didn't know was as useful as it is, please let me know with a like as well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. You can draw right on the screenshot and then save that to the Photos app. This really is a great extension and I highly recommend it to anyone. So all you do is tap a tab 10 times. I've already tapped updates once, so I'm gonna tap it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And it refreshes just like that.